I got a new lighting mechanism <laughs> and I used it to film um, the look that's on my face like the demo of the products that um, I'm going to talk about um, and it'll be towards the end of the video if you're interested interested in seeing that but um, it's it's by Glamcore. I'll link it down below if by any chance anybody's interested I guess. Um, but I have a mirror now so I can stand and really see what I'm doing and I didn't film like my uh, mascara and, and brows and stuff like that um, for time's sake of this particular video um, but I should be able to do that now because I can I can really see a lot better so um, you guys will have to let me know if you're interested in uh, get ready with me videos or anything like that because I kind of feel a little more confident in doing those videos now because I can see so much better with a mirror <laughs> directly in front of my face instead of like so far behind the camera that's what I was using beforehand so you'll have to let me know but in any event the products that I'm going to talk about which I had gotten um, quite a few requests on Instagram about both of these are the the NARS virtual domination cheek palette and also the the Smashbox on the Rocks palette. This is the luxe version. It's the bigger one. I also have got the little version right here, which is called the, um, it's just the photo op eyeshadow palette on the rocks. And it's the smaller one. And Ulta ha is having it 20% off. This is where I got both of the Smashbox items. Yeah. Um, it's having a 20% off till the first, I believe. So if you're interested in these products, but these are the ones I'm going to talk about and the ones that I did use on my uh, face in this video. So let's just roll right into it. <laughs> So first off, let's talk about the NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. It's from the Holiday Collection, and um, the packaging is super, super cute and pretty cool, I guess. And so is the actual packaging. It's it's quite um, pretty. It's like a, a piece of plastic with the pattern on there overlaid uh, with the NARS underneath. It's, it's really quite pretty, and it's a different type of packaging for NARS. It doesn't have that rubberized feel, and I actually really like it. So um, inside of this particular palette here, it's the Virtual Domination Cheek Palette, and these names are, you know, like rated R, but I'm just going to say them anyway, so um, let me show them to you. You have got, and these are all permanent products. No, they're not. Two limited edition products and three that are permanent. Yes, pretty sure. So um, we have got Laguna Bronzer. You have got uh, Final Cut Blush, Sex Fantasy Blush, Miss Liberty Highlighting Blush Powder, um, and Deep Throat Blush. Now, these two shades were limited edition from, I, I want to say, the Spring Collection, and both of these are matte. And then you have got um, Deep Throat, with which quite a few people are or seemingly familiar with and that one does have a little bit of a sheen to it um, good old Laguna bronzer it's not fully matte it's got a slight sheen but not over the top it's a very popular bronzer and then you've got um, sex fantasy blush right here no Miss Liberty highlighting blush right here which is really really sparkly hopefully you guys can see that there On my look today, I did use the Final Cut Blush, and I didn't use the highlighter as a highlighter, just because um, there's, it's not really a pigmented highlighter, but there's enough pigmentation in there that on my skin tone, it deepens up that area, which which I don't like. So what I did with that, since there are two, because I like the shimmer in the, the highlighter, and I used the matte blush, um, what you can do with this um, particular shade is top it over the matte blushes to give it a little sparkle, which is what I did on my cheeks right here. I've got my Burberry highlighter on on as a as a highlighter highlighter, but I used the Miss uh, Liberty over the Final Cut blush to add some sparkle to it because I quite like sparkle and Miss Liberty is pretty uh, sparkly, but it doesn't really have a lot of pigmentation, just enough to deepen up on my like paper white <laughs> skin. So. <laughs> And then I also used a Laguna as a bronzer all over my face. And I feel like all of these products, I do not have um, this highlighter in a full form. But I have all the rest of these products in a full size form. And I feel like they all perform just like their, um, their full size forms. Both of these particular blushes here, both in their full size form and in the palette, are kind of um, drier, chalkier shades where you put your brush in there. It kind of kicks up a lot of product. But they're quite pigmented. Um, Deeper skin tones, this I'm not too sure about because, you know, almost anything will kind of show up on me because I'm so fair. But um, I did use every single product in this palette and I feel like they perform like they did their full size um, counterparts. So uh, that is what I do have on my face. So I'm going to get up close and swatch them for you guys. So we've got Laguna Final Cut Sex Fantasy right there.
And then you've got Miss Liberty and Deep Throat right there. These names though, right? And they're right here. You're gonna have a hard time seeing Miss Liberty, but it's it's kind of a lot of sparkle is what it is. So the palette as a whole, I think, is a really good deal because you're getting a ton of product. The bronzer in there is like a full size. There's 0.35 ounces of bronzer, and each one of the blushes is 0.15 ounce, which is also like a full size NARS blush. An actual full size NARS blush is only 0.16 ounces. So um, for the money, this is a really, really good deal. If you're interested in trying some NARS for the money, it's good. Uh, if you don't like a lot of sparkle, you're not going to like Miss Liberty. And if... Uh, if you have deeper complexions, I'm not too sure how you're going to like um, these lighter blushes. The palette has worked out quite uh, nice for me so far, and I feel like they're in line with the full-size products that I do have that are in this palette. So that is the NARS Virtual Domination Palette, and it's quite pretty. Now the next item here is the Smashbox On The Rocks Photo Op Eyeshadow Luxe Palette. And this is the big one from Smashbox that I, I want to say it's an Ulta exclusive, not 100%, but I did pay $42 for it, and there is 28 photo op eyeshadows at 0.04 ounces a piece, which is, that's pretty good. The packaging that it comes in is really, um, really quite pretty. It's kind of got a puffy, this part right here is a little bit, like, puffy, but it's a good size palette, and um, I have used this particular palette quite a few times now, and I'm I'm really pleased with um, the quality of it. I do feel like these are on par with their trios of photo op eyeshadows and um, on par with like their uh, Smashbox um, Masterclass palettes. So these are quite nice. Um, the only shade that which I dipped into first when I saw it, there's a glittery sh silver shade in here that could have used a little bit, a little bit more pigmentation, but it has that like. Um, kind of a little bit more of a chunkier finish texture to it um, and that's the only shade like that in this particular palette so it, it's this one right here and it does come with an overlay with the um, shade names on it like this right here and it does got a pretty good uh, size mirror if you're into using those so and I do see eight mattes in the palette um, this deep purple which I use on my eyes I use quite a few of the purples and stuff I was going for a Halloween look um, today <laughs> since we're approaching that um this deep blue these three neutral far neutrals this way are all mattes this is a matte so um there's eight mattes and the rest are shimmer some have got some fine fine micro glitter in there um tiny bit of fall at the times that i've used it not a lot i think i think this is a good palette i'm gonna zoom up uh close and give you guys some of the swatches of them because it's, it's pretty nice so this is what the palette looks like up close. Um, the gem is pretty, but uh, they could have put a shadow there instead. I wouldn't have minded. <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. I used this green today on my lid. I used these purples um, through the crease right here. Um, I really enjoyed how the look came together. It was super easy and very minimal fallout. So I'm just going to randomly uh, swatch some of these because there's so many and the pattern is a little bit off to be swatching. So... Here's some of those. Then we'll do some of these brown ones because I know you guys like some uh, neutrals in here. Let's do this burgundy over here. I'll do just a couple more here because like I'm trying to trying to get it you know give you guys a good feel here of what they look like so really great uh, palette here I think it's like a really good deal for the money I feel like they're on par with um, Smashbox's photo op eyeshadows um, it's a good one. I, I quite like it. So, and it's what I have on my eyes as well. So, let me show you the smaller version because I did pick up that one as well. So, the smaller palette, this is what the packaging looks like. And this one here costed $36, and you're getting 12 shades at um, the same amount of product per shadow, which is 0.04 ounces, which is a, a decent sized eyeshadow. Uh, so, you're, you're getting um, 
a lot more eyeshadows for a lot less money in the bigger Lux palette than you are this one right here. Although this one I have used as well and it is uh, performs quite nice like um, same lines of Smashbox Photo Op eyeshadows. So um, it's a nice palette as well but your Lux palette is going to be definitely a better bang for um, your buck. So let me zoom up close and give you guys a couple swatches of this guy right here. Here's what the outside packaging looks like right there and this one is a plastic there is no like puffy feel to this particular one right there so so this is what the palette looks like up close you got some really uh, pretty colors in there again this is pretty but I wouldn't have minded if it you know they included a shadow instead <laughs> but uh, you only have two mattes in this particular palette and these that are these two highlighter shades right here everything else has got a shimmer or a sheen to it or some of them have got that metallic finish so let me swatch a couple of these for you guys. Again, nice quality shadows that is pretty on par with uh, Smashbox Photo Op shadows. I'll go ahead and do a couple more here. So this is a nice little guy too, but um, you're definitely getting a lot more shadows for a lot less money in the Lux size, and I do, but I, I do feel the quality's uh, great in both palettes. Now the last thing I have here is the Always Sharp Liner Set. The gal at um, Nordstrom when I was in Minnesota totally sold me on these, and I had never tried them, but I had high hopes for the waterline with them. Um, they stay okay on the waterline for me. Um, not the greatest, not not as long lasting as my Marc Jacobs, that's for sure. But um, I think each one is $21 a piece, like if you buy them separately. And the kit together, which, which there are five, is $39. So if you do like these liners, this is a good uh, little set. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you guys so you guys can see what uh, they look like in this kit. Because I did pick it up, so why not? This first one is the Smashbox Always Sharp 3D Liner in 3D Night Gem. And it is a gray with some um, silver sparkles in it looks like that and then we have got um, 3d orchid which is another one of the 3d liners it's a purple with some like purple uh, burgundy shimmers in it the next one is in midnight and it is one of their their regular ones this one doesn't have the shimmer in it it is a navy blue and then this one is Sumatra which is a, a matte brown color and then the last one is Raven, which is a uh, matte black color right there. So those are the liners in the set. This one, these two right here are the 3D liners with the glitter in them. So a little careful if you want to try those on the waterline because they do have that glitter in there. And then two, these are the always, um, the always sharp. So when you put them back in the lid and put the cap on, if you twist it to make a click or whatever, or every time you put it in there, like it'll, um, it'll resharpen the point for you. So that's what type of liners these are. So um, that is the liner set. Uh, I still need to play with, it, play around with them a little bit more, but uh, the particular ones that I have tried so far haven't lasted as long for me on the waterline as I would have liked them to. So. Um, on the skin though, when I do like, when I was swatching them in the store later on, like they stay on the skin pretty decent. So, so those are those. Um, so hopefully that was helpful for you guys in seeing if you guys might like some of the, some of those products or not. And now if you're interested in seeing, um, the products being used on and the look that I have on my face, um, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. Since the highlighter is a little bit too dark um, for my liking in the NARS Virtual Domination Palette, I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my Burberry Nude Radiance in number one. It looks like that on a Goss number two. Yes, I think this is, no, Goss number one, one or two <laughs> um, brush right here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the tops of my cheeks right here. A little bit right here my lip and then above my brow now I'm going to go into the NARS virtual domination palette and I'm going to pick up Laguna which is the bronzer in the palette and this is a um, Real Techniques uh, cheek brush it looks like this this is from um, what is it NYX Nick Chapman's um, a special collection from Kohl's I just picked this up the other day so I'm just gonna use it <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in into the bronzer here 
And I'm going to go into the contour and then I'm also going to bring it upwards and just kind of give my face a little color here. And my forehead definitely can use some color. on my ear. Then I'm just going to use the brush that I put my uh, face setting powder on which is a this is a Marc Jacobs bronzer brush and I'm just going to go ahead and um, make sure that that bronzer is nicely blended into my skin. I'm just going to use the same brush that we use to bronze because um, it fits in here kind of nice and I'm going to pick up some of that and just start in the backs and put some blush on here. Fairly pigmented. I think. Now I'm going to use um, a little bit of the Miss Liberty highlighter, which I said was too dark for me, but since there are two matte blushes in the palette, I think that this could be used, um, used as a topper if you wanted to put a little bit of sparkle to your matte blushes. So that's what I'm going to do. Same brush again, I'm going to dip into the Miss Liberty here, which it's pretty, um, it's pretty sparkly, but it does, it had enough pigment coloring to it, which it's not very pigmented, but it was enough to, on um, top of my cheekbones, it deepened up, so I didn't like that, but I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that and put it all on top of the blush, and it should add some, um, sparkle to it. So, so in that retrospect, I can use it, so. And it is, it's pretty sparkly, but it's pretty. It's pretty over the, the blushes. So I already primed my eyes with the Armis on Cover Up in 00. zero. This is what it looks like right there. I'm feeling a little Halloween color inspired, so that's what I'm going to do and just roll with it and see how it goes. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, pick up this green shade right here in the palette. Hopefully I don't blind you guys there. On a Goss number 18 brush. And I'm going to pack this over the first part of the lid. Right there. Now on a Goss number 6 brush, I'm going to go into the palette and pick up this shade right here, which is a matte, like, eggplant shade, and it's called, uh, it's called Royal on a Goss number 6 brush. And be sure to tap that off, because it's a pretty dark color. And I'm going to pack this on the outer part here. Kind of like your outer V, but I have to bring it quite a bit higher so that it can be seen. <laughs> um, pick up a little bit more here. And then I'm going to put it into the crease, kind of going halfway in. Now on a Hakuhoto brush that's very similar to the Goss number 6 brush, I'm going to go into this purple shade right here which is called Lilac. Dip my brush into that there. And I'm going to go ahead and put it right in front of that, that um, what's it called? The deeper, the deeper purple. <laughs> um, and bring it inwards here, blend it into it, and then I'm going to also use that shade to blend out up here. Ever so slightly. So it looks like that right there. Now I'm going to take the um, shade Lavender, which is just another lighter purple over here, on a Hakuhodo J5523 brush. It looks like that. Um, I just dusted off on a towel here. And I'm going to pick up that lighter shade and further ombre the shadow upwards. So the whole length here.
I would have liked a dual chrome like green iridescent highlight um, but there isn't one in the palette so I'm gonna go in to this shade right here which is called snow and it's just a matte really light cream color on a Hakuhodo J5523 brush I'm just gonna pick that up on the very tip of the brush here and I'm gonna go ahead and use that right here and blend it in here So there is the shadow done. Really liking how it turned out. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my brows, liner, and mascara, and I'll be right back. I decided to use this um, eye paint color. It's like a gel liner, kind of, um, from NARS in Mozambique. It's a green shade like this um, on my waterline. So I'm just going to wipe, um, wipe my waterline off with a Q-tip here. I'm sure that looks great. And then on a, a Goss number no. 8 brush, it's like a little push liner brush, I'm going to pick up the uh, product here and I'm going to put that on my waterline. Because so I think it fits the look quite nice. So there are the eyes done. Um, I really quite like how it turned out. Um, I was going for Halloween -y and I think that's what I'm gonna get here after, especially after the lips. <laughs> I went with something orange. This is kind of orange coral, but more orange. Kind of, I guess, matches my shirt a little bit. And these are the ColourPop lippy sticks in um, brunch, both the lippy pencil and the lippy stick. The, the names are kind of crazy, but I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips and bring it in a bit with this. I was going to tell you guys real quick, I look crazy, um, I used the Lightning Liner from Kat Von D and Poe, it's like a um, shiny um, metallic shade and it looks it looks really pretty. See if you guys can um, see it here, it's, it's really, it looks cool, it looks really cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my lips with the brunch shade um, stick. <laughs> and I like to pull these over the lip liners as well because they mesh together nicely. So there is the overall finished look. Um, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I'll see you guys later. Bye.